I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you want to follow along, there's a link below the video to a scoring reference card. The game is played a lot like Cantonese style, but the scoring is way different. 81 scoring elements. I play solitaire so I can practice and train myself to find those scoring elements. In this session, I want to focus on number tiles, primarily shifted opportunities, shifted chows, shifted pungs, maybe knitted tiles. Also, I want to look at upper four, lower four, upper tiles, middle tiles, lower tiles. If none of that makes any sense, download that quick reference so you can follow along. Basically, I just want to manipulate the number tiles and get used to seeing those patterns. Let's see what happens. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way, we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, south, west, and north will get 13 each. Then, we'll look at each hand and see if we can find some scoring elements. You gotta have eight points to qualify to win. Everybody has their tiles. Okay, let's see what we can do for East. Okay, let's see. Look at the pairs. I don't think we need to worry about these number tiles because we've got pairs. Anytime I have four pair, I think about all pung. All pung is four, no, all pung, all pung is six pawn. Six points. So, we need two more fawns somewhere. If we can get a one bam or a four bam, we could do shifted uh, pungs. Here, let's see, mix shifted pungs. Number 42, all pung is number 49. Mix shifted pungs is number 42, that's eight points. If we can get a one bam or a four bam, I mean, that's kind of a long shot, but we need score. We have six points with all pung. That's not enough. Two, three, nine west. We're in east seat. Maybe we could pair up this white because a pung of dragons is two points. So let's see what happens here. We're just going to have to wait and see. I just want to see the chow potential here. Potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. Eight, nine, seven, nine. We're missing the crack suit for a mixed triple chow potential. Same chow in three suits, but we have no seven, eight, nine crack. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. We need to pick a discard though, at least to get started. So let's discard. The five crack to get started. The five crack is a middle number. I would think it's gonna be the most flexible. So maybe everybody else will keep those middle numbers. Let's see if we can keep edge tiles, like one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there is a scoring element called 
three suited terminal chows. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we don't have the right suits. That's number 29. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and two suits with a pair of fives in a third suit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. There is a fawn called mixed straight, number 39. One, two, three, and one suit. Four, five, six, and a second suit. Seven, eight, nine, and a third suit. We do have a two. We have an eight, nine. Um, a six, five. Yeah, we'll have to see. We got to give something up. Let's give up the five crack and see what happens. Wait a minute. What about knitted? Lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34. Odd honors with knitted tiles, no pairs. So we'd have to discard the West. But we need 147 in one suit, 258 in a second suit, and 369 in a third suit. 147. Now, here's a three, a 69. There's a 5. There's an 8. One, yeah, the numbers aren't right for knitted. Never mind. All right, we're going to move on. Let's move on to south. Two flowers. You cannot count flowers with your minimum eight points. But we can get replacements. Okay. Two dots, five cracks, four bams. Let's look at number tiles. We have two single honors. So let's look at what about middle tiles. Four pungs or chows in a pair using four, five, six. We'd have to throw this away and this away. And this. Hmm. That's a lot of discards. I don't know if I like that. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we do have a potential mixed shifted chows. That's six fawn, number 51. Three chows, one in each suit, each shifted one up from the last. One, two, three, three, four, five. One, two, three, two. Oh, it's two, three, four. Mm. One, two, three, so it would be two, three, four. One, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, six. All right, let's go ahead and start by discarding the West and work with number tiles. We're going to have to stack points here. Okay, let's look and see what we can do for West. All right, here we have mostly dots, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. What about upper tiles? Upper tiles, number 25, four pungs or chows in a pair is using seven, eight, nine. That's 24 points. We'd have to throw those away and that and that. We also have a potential for mixed triple chow, number 41. That's eight points, seven, eight, nine in three suits. We're a little light in cracks. So let's see if we can do upper tiles or mixed triple chow. Let's start by discarding these two and go from there.
flower. Okay. Let's see. Eight, seven, eight. There's a little pattern there. Half flush, maybe. Half flush is six fawn. We would need to pair up either the white dragon or the north to get a pung of either our seat win or a dra pung of dragons for two more points. Let's go ahead and focus on half flush, seat wind, or dragon pung and throw those. Let's hold the eight just in case. Okay, I think we're going to get started here. We're going to discard this five crack for east. And we're off, drawing for south. Nine dot. Oh, that's not a dot. That's a bam. I don't know what I was thinking there. Nine bam. All right. Oh, let's see. What were we thinking here? Shifted chows. That nine I don't think is helpful. Let's discard the West. I think we were going to get rid, rid of these honors and focus on number tiles. Okay, now here we need to decide. We could pung that, but that will bring no value. And they have mixed suits. They have one, two, three, four pair. All pung is six fawn. We need two more fawn somewhere. Or points. Yeah, we need points. Okay, uh, let's see here. Mm. All Pung is six points. Let's, let's stay concealed. I don't want to commit to that because we have no other score. I would rather wait to pair up here or wait for a one crack or a one bam or a four bam because we need score. All pung is only six points. Let's let it go and draw. Green dragon. We want number tiles. Let's, let's keep the honors and get rid of this four bam. Okay. We're going to draw three dot. That'll help with a half flush. Let's discard this three BM. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw nine dot. Okay. Now maybe we could play seven pair. We just got another pair. One, two, three, four, five pair. Seven pairs is 24 points. That's number 19. Seven pair. Seven unique pair. Let's go for it. So let's go ahead and discard six bam. I was just thinking we could keep the eight nine. If we get the eight nine in cracks we could do mixed shifted chows or something. But I think seven unique pair might work. We need to keep an eye on discards though, because you want to keep fresh tiles so that you can have a better chance of pairing up. So now we're going to draw green dragon. We need low. What about lower tiles? Did we look at that? One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five middle tiles, I think. Let's discard this nine bam. Middle tiles, four, five, six. Okay, let's draw. Five bam. Hmm. We were looking at upper tiles, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of, oof. Let's get rid of the five bam. There's a significant number of dots there. Maybe 
we could play half flesh or pure straight if we get some of these gap tiles. Let's draw three flower. Three crack. We want dots. One crack. We're going to draw. Four bam. <gasps> we wanted that. Mix shifted pungs. If we can get a four bam, maybe we could pung all those. Let's discard the seven bam. Now here, if we're looking at four, five, six middle numbers, middle tiles, four, five, six, we don't want that seven. Let's draw five. Okay, those middle numbers, that's 24 points. Four, five, six, five, six. We could pung or chow in there. Let's get rid of the green dragon. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Eight, bam. Seven, eight, nine, upper tiles. But we have a pair of sixes. If we can get an eight crack or a nine crack, we could play mixed triple chow. Seven, eight, nine in each suit. Let's discard this green dragon and draw. Ooh, they paired up that white. That is sorely needed. Let's get rid of these. Three crack. And nobody can take that. So, oh, oh, right here. We need to decide. Okay, one, two, three, four, five pair. If we pung that, we would be committing to pure shifted chow or pure shifted pungs. Two, three, four, three suits. We have only a single four. I think we're better off to play seven pair. Let's draw. We need to pair up. One dot. Now we need to look at what's out and discard accordingly. None of these are out. Oh, there's a four bam out. Let's go ahead and discard that. There's already one out and there's only four of everything. So we're going to try for seven pair. Here we need four, five, six middle tiles. So that would mean we'd have to throw all those away. That's pretty. Mm. Okay. What about if we play all simples, we would have only three discards. All simples is two through eight. Now all simples is only two points. So we would need points elsewhere. We do have a slight potential for a mixed shifted chows, three, four, five in each suit, but we're light in cracks. Three, four, five. That's six points. Mix shifted chows, number 51. Okay, let's go ahead and chow. Okay, this is committing here. We're committing to either all simples or mix shifted chow, or mix, mix triple chow. Let's get rid of this red dragon right now. And then we'll get rid of the ones. Let's draw. One bam. We want, we want seven, eight, nine, but we do have opportunity here for outside hand with ones, nines, and honors in every set. We'd have to get rid of the pair of sixes though. This one though is isolated. Let's discard that and draw six dot they're on their way to that half flush let's discard the four crack half flush dragon pung that's what we're after so four crack right here 
we, we want this for a chow, so we don't want to pung it. We're going to draw. Eight bam. Okay, we need to pair up, so we need to look at what's out. None of these tiles are out. Let's discard the one dot. I probably should have kept the one dot and thrown maybe the eights because I think edge tiles, from what I hear, are typically discarded before middle tiles. That one might have been a better keeper for seven pair. We'll see. Let's draw for south. Two crack. That is a simple two through eight. So let's get rid of the one dot. Up here. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw four flower. The number doesn't matter. I'm just a creature of habit. Seven bam. Ooh, seven, eight, nine. There's a potential pure double chow. Pure double chow is number 69. Two chows in the same sequence in the same suit. That's one point. Let's... Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, pair of sixes, seven. Let's get rid of this east. I would really love to get an eight crack or a nine crack for seven, eight, nine upper tiles, or maybe mixed triple chow, pure double chow. Let's draw flower. Six crack. Drawing for east. Five dot. Five dot. Okay, now that's a middle number. That's probably an efficient number. Let's go ahead and discard this dragon because it is valuable. I don't want to get stuck with that. And we're going to pung. So that would be east discard for north. We'll discard this eight crack. We just got through the second wall. We're heading into the third wall, which is the middle game. So now is when everybody should have their points identified at least to get that minimum and then build from there. Here we're playing seven pair. Here we're playing all simples. Here upper tiles. Here half flush dragon pong. So everybody's good to go. We're going to draw for east. We need to pair up. One dot! Shoot! We could have had a pair. That's unfortunate. Wrong choice. Lesson learned. Draw. Oh, three crack. That's a simple. And we can get rid of this one bam. And now they have all simples. Okay. Two, three, four, four, five, six, or potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, chow. We need a pair in here. There's a pair, chow. We need that four here though, because we can't use a one. All right, let's see what happens. We're gonna draw seven. Oh my goodness, look at this. Let's focus on seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, six, seven, eight. They have pairs in mix shifted pungs. Six, seven, eight. Mix shifted pungs is eight points. Let's get rid of the one. 
We'll get rid of that two next. We need to pong. We have one, two, three, four pair. Okay, let's let's chow. Oh look, they have a potential pure straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's chow. Pure straight, nice. Pure straight dragon pung. Let's get rid of south. We need a four dot here, and then we need a pair. Okay, we're gonna draw. We need pair up, one crack. Okay, what's out? One crack is out. One crack right here. One is a terminal. We need two through eight, so we're not gonna take it. One crack, we're gonna discard that. We need two through eight, so we're gonna draw. Flower. Eight crack, that's an upper tile. Oh my gosh, look at this, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Let's discard this two dot. Okay, pair of sixes, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Mix, triple, chow. We could leverage that pair this way. One, two, three, four blocks. We need a chow here. We can maybe discard the seven crack. unless these pungs come in. None of these tiles are out. Let's just double check the points for mixed shifted pungs. That's eight. Mixed triple chow is eight. Six, one, half dozen, the other. Seven, eight, nine. Upper tiles is 24 points, but we'd have to sacrifice a pair of sixes. Four, four, five. Okay, let's keep going. Two dot. Oh, here. We're trying for seven pair. We can't do all pung because we have no other score. All pung is only six points. We need to hold with seven pair. Let's draw. West. That's been discarded. East. Drawing for south. One bam. Drawing for west, east. Drawing for north, three bam. Nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Six crack. Okay, now we need to find out what's out. Six crack, west, eight bam. Five dot, eight dot, none of these are out. Let's get rid of the five dot. It's a middle number. Let's draw. White dragon, safe tile. There's a pung out. We're gonna draw two crack. That's a edge tile on the wrong end. We need a nine crack. We're gonna draw three BM. Four dot. Oh, we just got rid of a five dot. Four, four, six. Okay. Let's get rid of the, oh, yeah, let's get rid of the four dot and draw. Green. No honors there. <gasps> nine crack. Oh my gosh. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Pair of sixes. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. We need a nine bam. A nine bam or a six bam. Let's discard the seven crack. Seven crack was discarded. We're gonna draw. North, they paired up. Let's discard the seven dot and they're ready to win. Pure straight, half flush, dragon pung. Let's discard the seven dot. They need a four dot, there's one out. We're gonna draw. Five crack. That's a middle number. 
8 dot, 5 crack, 6 crack, 8 band. Let's get rid of the 5 crack. We're looking to pair up. One more pair and we can be ready. 5 crack. We can chow. There's a 3, 4, 5 out. 3, 4, 5. Let's chow. 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. We're looking at all simples. We have a pure double chow in here too. No, we don't. Three, four, five. We need a three crack here. Five, six, five, six, seven. All simples is two. All chow is one. No, all chow is two. All chow is two. So that's four. If we get rid of this three, that could be avoided suit for five. Oh, maybe I jumped. Three, four, five, three, four, five, three. Three, four, five, pure double chow. Let's discard the two crack and see if we can get a four dot or a five dot for a mixed triple chow. Let's discard the two crack and draw. Three dot. Nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Six bam, we will discard that. Mahjong for West. They had a side weight and they have mixed triple chow, eight points. And all chow, all chow has no honors. So that's two, so that's 10, 10 points. I think that's all they get, 10 points. and this player threw it. So these two players would owe eight, this player would owe 18. I was kind of pushing for north in that pure straight. That would have been a nice hand. But West sacrificed a higher point hand for a winning eight point hand, mixed triple chow. I think that was a smart move. Otherwise they would have had to sacrifice a pair and come up with more seven eights and nines. I don't know if they would have made it, not with a winning hand waiting for north. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.